So one of the things that I got a lot of questions about in my Instagram, um, I posted a picture of this on Instagram, was this purse that I purchased. So let me just move back a bit for you. So there you can see it. So I got this purse um, in New York, obviously. Uh, no, I got this at Century 21. So those of you who don't know Century 21, it is the most amazing department store but it's all like brand names like high-end brand names but also like you know just clothes that have been discounted majorly discounted so it's kind of like a tj maxx on crack um it's like six floors or something they have everything shoes coats accessories bags everything if you're in new york and you're looking for a good bargain head to century 21 this is by Banjali mishka i don't know if i said it already but yeah here's the Actually, Mishka thing. I might actually take this off because it does seem a bit label, label whorish to leave that on. I'm not sure yet. It is a tan color, like a nude color purse. It has gold hardware. It's real leather, so it has a really nice quality leather. Um, it has obviously these two straps, as you can see, and then it has this across body strap thing there, so you can wear it either way. On the side, it has two pockets so there's a little pocket here and then it has another pocket on this side with a zipper so you can put your like cell phone or things you need quick access to on the outside i love that it's just one big main compartment but there are a few um like organizing helper <laughs> thingies on the inside so there's a zipper here no on this side there's a zipper there so you can put some stuff in there it's really roomy you can actually fit a ton of stuff in here i think this is such a great purse for traveling at century 21 this is not a plug i'm not being sponsored by them i wish no haha ha, just kidding no but seriously like you can get like brand names for huge discounts so this bag wasn't even that expensive like it really wasn't. So this was a great find. I love it. I love the color. Because the nude color is not going into the pinkish or whatever, you can still wear, like I'm gonna still wear this in the fall. Next thing, shoes. I got two of them at DSW, another one of my favorite stores in New York. It is called Designer Shoe Warehouse, I think. I went to the one on Union Square. Um, it is just a massive store that has brand name shoes for, again, discounted prices. I picked up these ones by Sam Edelman, and I just love these. They're just like sneakers. They're, I think they're velvet. Like they feel like really nice material. Um, they have some, studded hardware right there um, and then inside has the Sam Edelman logo and also on the bottom um, so yeah they're authentic they're not like the store has all authentic brands but maybe some of it's from like last season or whatever or like overstock there are sneakers but they're a bit more like trendy or a bit more like nicer sneakers so I think those would be really cute. I got a new pair of runners because runners are super expensive here um, in Switzerland. So in the United States, you can find basically the exact same model for half the price. I picked up these ones. These are the Adidas Ride, they're called. I love the neon color. I think they're really funky, the neon orange laces and the, the, the greenish yellow part here. I think they're really cool. Um, they're really comfortable for running. I've already worn them twice and they're very light, like they're very, very light shoes, but have a very good sole for outdoor activity. And I also picked up two pairs of flip-flops because these are my favorite pairs, our favorite brand of flip-flops. These are Roxy um, flip-flops. I think you can buy Roxy flip-flops here too. They're double the price again. Then I picked up these ones also, which I think are cute because they have a sparkly silver, um toe strap i guess moving right along to clothing i didn't actually get that many clothes because i don't really i didn't really want to buy any more summer clothing because now like august like once august is over i'm, go I'm going to be wanting to buy more fall clothes and they didn't really have any fall clothes yet in the stores um, in New York. So I think it was just a little bit too early. So I just picked up some stuff that was on sale. Um, I got this really cute top from BB. It has this kind of funky cutout top at the front. It is black and white. I also got two pairs of jeans. The first one are from Lucky Brand. And I've been looking for kind of boyfriend cut jeans for a while. So I actually got these a size up from what I normally wear. 
um, because I wanted them to fit really loose, I tried on my actual size and they just weren't loose enough for me. So I was like, you know what, I'll go a size up. They're just so soft, like incredibly soft. They have a little bit of like wear and tear already in them, which I think looks really cool. And they have the straight leg Sienna Tomboys. So their, their jeans are a little bit pricey. Well, for me, I think they're kind of pricey compared to like Forever 21 or something like that. But I think the quality here is really good and they just feel really, really soft and I think they're gonna be super, super comfortable. So yeah, and I'm planning to wear these with the bottoms kind of rolled up. Maybe with those sneakers, they'll be fun. Or you can kind of dress them up with heels. And then I also got another pair at American Eagle Outfitters and I love their jeans. Last time I was in New York, I got, I think I got two pairs or I got one pair there. They were on sale. They were so inexpensive, like $35 or something for a pair of jeans of this quality is amazing. Um, these are the skinny jeans and called heritage medium. So they have a little bit of that worn out look. I think they look really cool. Um, these are be great for fall. Still too hot to wear them now. These were these are a really good bargain because the, the jeans quality of American Eagle is really good. I think like the ones that I already own, I've washed them so many times. The color is still exactly how it was when I got it. This dress I actually ordered on ASOS um, when they were having their summer sale. I actually ordered this because I wanted to take it to New York if we had to go out for like dinner or something. And then it ended up not arriving in time, so I couldn't take it. But it's really a versatile dress and. And, you know like a black cocktail dress you're always gonna find uses for it so I definitely don't think it's like wasted or something so this dress is by Oasis and it has this really cool zipper front detail um, and then on the side it has these pep like this little peplum thing which looks at first I thought that looked really strange but it does look really flattering and there is just a zipper on the front that actually zips up all the way now, sometimes when you're by yourself it's hard to sometimes zip up dresses in the back. And I've gone to so many events where I had a dress that zipped up in the back and I'm like trying to get it all the way up and like doing all these contortions. And I was like, oh, this is cool because now I can zip it up in the front myself without having that hassle. And I think it just adds a really interesting detail. It kind of makes it look a little bit more edgy. So I have also been on the hunt for a new watch for a really long time, but I wanted a gold watch because the watch I had was like stainless steel. It was like silver color. So I went to Saks on Fifth Avenue and I looked at different ones and I was kind of looking at different ones that were in my price range. I mean, I wasn't gonna spend like $2,000 on a watch. Um, so I ended up getting this one um, by Michael Kors. It has a number, it's the MK5556 watch. I don't know if that helps. So I really like this watch. It has like a gold strap. I love the Roman numerals that it has on the face. I think it's really elegant. I wanted a watch that was more timeless, like that I was just really going to like for a really long time. So I went for this really kind of classic one. I love it. I love it so much. I think it's just perfect. But I think, I think it's a really great investment because watches are something I don't buy all the time. So I just think it's maybe worth it to splurge a little bit on a watch if it's something that you don't buy too often. And that's why I went with a really classic design that I think I'm still gonna love, you know, in a couple of years from now. And then the last thing I got are actually these rings and I got these at Aldo Accessories. They have the cutest little accessories at Aldo. And I got these stackable rings on this side. They have like a, like it looks like a quartz, but obviously it's not real, but yeah, this is all costume jewelry, but um, I thought that was really cute, these stackable rings. And then I got this little knuckle ring and I thought it was cute because it says OMG. So, oh my God. And then this little faux pearl on that side. So those are the rings I got. I really like these kind of more dainty rings. I went to B&H Photo in New York, which is one of my favorite stores. It is just a massive camera equipment store. Everything that you could ever imagine for photography. So if you are at all into video cameras, photography, whatever, go to that store, you will just be amazed. They've got like millions of dollars of merchandise in that store. Um, I actually had a gift certificate um, from YouTube that that they gave like a year ago or something and I never used it because I didn't really know what to buy with it. And then recently I became interested in the GoPro camera because of doing outdoor sports and stuff like that that I do. And I thought this would be a really great addition. 
I got the GoPro Hero 3 camera. So it comes in a skeleton case, which you can open. Um, I've already tried this out. I tried it out at Long Beach. I went swimming there with my friend and that was a ton of fun. I'll try and add in some footage right now. And it's tiny, it is only like this big, but you can, it, you can use it for everything because it has a super wide angle lens. So you can get almost like, it, it looks almost a little bit fish eye, like a little bit of a fish eye lens, but it, because of the super wide angle, you just have an amazing panorama view of whatever you're filming. Um, it's very, very small. So I love that. It's very easy to use. It's waterproof with this case. You can take it swimming. You can take it diving. I think it's waterproof up to like 25 meters under um, underwater. It comes with some different mounts and I ended up buying the head strap mount. So I don't remember how much this, this one was, but it just fits on your head like that. And then you can move, let me just close this up. You can move the camera around, like let's say, well, the camera's not in there right now, but if the camera's in here and you'd be wearing this like on your head. Um, it'll just film what you're seeing and then you can like tilt it, you can angle it. It's so cool. I've already used it on my other channel, The Third Shift. If you wanna see how that looks, um, check out my summer fit videos because I'm gonna be using it for that. And then lastly, I also got this at B&H Photo. This is the Bolt um, LED macro ring light. I have it on my camera right now, so I don't know if you can tell a difference. Um, but yeah, I bought this as a ring light. It fits onto the front of your lens if you use a DSLR camera for filming, which I do. And you can use this as a permanent light for filming. So right now it's just on, um, but you can also connect it to your camera and just use it as a additional flash. You can use that for macro photography. It does come with different adapter rings to fit onto different camera sizes. Um, and yeah, it, do, it does have a pretty strong light. Like I think it's pretty good, um, but I will have to try it out a bit more. <laughs>